Time flies, doesn't it? Because I've been online and I've been seeing people post about their first day of school. Like, already? June was two hours ago. How are some of y'all already in class? I graduated high school two years ago, but I remember that we wouldn't go back until early September. But hey, every city and every school is different. And seeing all of these first day of school posts made me reminisce about my first days of school. So let's talk about them. Throughout the summer, my sleep schedule will be all over the place. You know, going to sleep at 12 in the morning and not waking up until 10 a.m. So when school was starting up again and I knew I had to wake up at 6 a.m., I would have a mini heart attack. The week before, I would try to fix my sleep schedule by going to sleep at like 8 p.m. But all I would end up doing is screwing myself up even more. Because I would end up waking up at like 4 in the morning. So you know what? Screw this. I'll just set up like 30 alarms the night before. And the night before the first day of school would be different. I would have my fit ready, new shoes. I couldn't sleep. I would practically pull an all-nighter. I wouldn't knock out till like 3 a.m. And it didn't matter how many alarms I had off. If church bells were ringing, music on full blast, fire alarms going off, I would still find a way to oversleep. Oh my god, I woke up an hour late! I would easily miss my bus, so I would have to wake my mom so she can take me to school. And we all know how that goes. Mijo, te tienes que levantar más temprano! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I get to school all tired. But it's not just me. Everybody's still in summer mode. Broken sleep schedules, harsh suntans, kids are wearing tropical shirts and sunglasses. Meanwhile, I'm frantically trying to find my class. And when I find my first period, I start looking around trying to see if there's anybody I know. And with my luck, there's nobody. Man, where did all these new people come from? Finally though, one of my buddies from last year actually walks in. Yo, Jonathan! Hey dude, what's up? My guy, what happened to your voice? I don't know if you remember my friend Jonathan. You know, he was the kid that we almost got in a fight. And homie's voice the year prior was so squeaky. Hey guys, what's up? But this year, homie sounded like the Allstate guy. Are you in good hands? Dude, again, what happened to you over the summer? I don't know, I feel good though. Anyways, the teacher walks in and she makes us all sit down. And I give props to teachers because they have so much energy at 8 a.m. Hello class, welcome to the first day of school. Now, since I don't know you guys yet, why don't we have an icebreaker? Here we go, first day of school shenanigans. All right, so give me your name, your favorite food, and one thing you did this summer. We'll start here and work our way down. And this will go for the entire class. Hi, my name is Megan. My favorite food is olives. Olives, what the? And one thing I did this summer was go to Bora Bora. Awesome, next. And we have those people who just don't care about these questions. Hi, my name is Alex. My favorite food, I don't know. And I did nothing this summer. And we have those people who just go too in depth. Hi, my name is Carlos Montaña de los Santos. For breakfast, I like waffles or pancakes. Really doesn't matter. Lunch, I like BOTs. There's this really dope place in downtown where two hours later. Oh, and one thing I did this summer. Okay, I think we've heard enough. One by one, people kept on answering these questions. And throughout that whole time, I'm just thinking about what to say. All right, come on, Jorge, be original. Be original. I would overthink these questions and have an anxiety attack on how to say my name. Okay, should I say Jorge? or George. Yep, throughout school I would always struggle with that. It was a personal problem. Cause on paper, some would read my name as George. And I wouldn't mind that because technically they were not wrong. I would never correct anybody. But now your boy fully goes as Jorge. So when it was my turn, all right, hi everybody, my name is Jorge. You gotta love them voice cracks. And I try to play it off, but I see everybody covering their faces and like, you know, not trying to laugh. Once that class was over, I was looking for my next one. And although I was lost, I came across a dude who seemed even more lost. Hey man, do you know where room B13A is? B13A? What kind of a class is that? Because our class didn't have letters for room numbers. Let me see your schedule. And I kid you not, I don't recognize a single class on his schedule. My guy, let me go get a teacher. Are you sure you're in the right school? I go to a nearby teacher and she has to get the principal. Yeah, the kid was dropped off in the wrong school. I felt bad in the moment, but looking back, that made my entire week. It was hands down the greatest thing ever. But hopefully homie was able to find B13A in the right school. Yes, sir. Follow the Instagram. 